Hey, what's up, guys? It's I Smite Effects, and um, this is gonna be my first tutorial video. And we're going to be going over laser beams, charging lasers, and laser cannons all in the same video. This is my first tutorial, so I'm sorry if it's like a little jittery and not well put together because I'm not used to doing this. But um, I'm going to go ahead and show you an excerpt from a video from my other channel of a laser beam in so you can see the finished product. No, I do not want to change my color scheme. Ryan, where'd you get that from? What does that pay? <laughs> Just put it down. <laughs> put your gun down. <laughs> and we can just talk about this over at Best oh. Pepsi. Did you just say Pepsi? Yes, said Pepsi. Pepsi? Pepsi! Okay. Um. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our footage into After Effects. And you're going to go ahead and find the part where he's your person starts to charge up the laser. Uh, for me, it's right here. Okay. Now, what I would do next is I would track the motion from wherever I want to see a charging point. So right here on this V8 bottle and right here in this little, um, I guess, kind of a scope thing. So you can either, you have two options. You can... If you have a newer version of After Effects, you can use Mocha, which is what I'm going to do. Or you can also use the built-in tracking with After Effects. But I, if you can, if it's possible, I highly recommend you use Mocha. It's, it is a lot better than the tracking in After Effects. So we're going to bring this clip into After Effects uh, without any effects on it and everything. I mean Mocha, sorry. <coughs> okay. So basically how Mocha works is you're going to want to click this uh, Create X Spline Layer Tool and you're just going to kind of map out a part that stays in like the same portion as everything else. You want it to be consistent. So we I drew like a little cross around this uh, V8, bo V8 bottle, which will be my motion point. So and then you would um, press there right here, track forwards and then that'll track it and then you press stop when you need it to stop tracking and then you would press export data and then that'll bring up a, a little pop-up layer and it'll say what do you want to do with this and then you click copy to clipboard and then you um, come into After Effects you're going to want to create a new null object and you're going to <coughs> put go to the beginning of the video and you're going to want to okay, edit paste. And that pasted all of the information. I believe so. Let me make sure. Yeah, okay, it's all in there. Alright. So now what we want to do is get to a point in time where Get to the part where he starts charging, which should be right, right here. Okay, so now we're going to want to make a new <coughs> solid. And just go ahead and pick a red. I'm going to pick like a little darker red, not too bright. So, okay, click OK, OK, OK. And obviously you can't see your work, so you're going to drop the opacity for now. So just so you can see what you're doing. After that's done, click the pen tool. And you're going to want to kind of mask out the area that you want to be charged. So for me, I want this V8 bottle to be charged. And I also want this like this scope to be charged. Okay. So after that's done, you can bring up the back back up the opacity. Alright, but that looks like crap, so what do you do when it looks like crap? You feather. So, feather. Um, this is just to your preference. Uh, I don't like it too feathered, but I don't like it too solid. So, I guess that's a good amount for now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to press MM and then press MM really quickly to bring up all the masking options on that layer. 
So we got mask path, mask feather, mask opacity, and mask expansion. What we're going to do is uh, keyframe both, both mask expansions for the mask. Ah, it's weird saying that. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to drop down the expansion. That's way too little. Like to right, right here. So it's barely anything. And then Oh yeah, my bad. One of the one of the thing guys you wanna do is um parent this to null so that it um follows the motion track. Uh yeah, you wanna make sure you do that or it won't it will not end up right. Okay, so we're going to go to the end where I shoot the Okay, so right about here, and we're going to push our expansion outwards to make it look like it's been really charged up. Um, once again, this is just to your preference. Um, oops. Uh, Okay, so this is where uh, this is about to be. Yeah, that's where the motion track kicks in. Also, you're going to want to cut the red solid so that it is not the full length. You just want the part where it's charging up. So there and right there. So we got to cut it down to size make sure okay all right now that we have that done you can kind of see that it charges up and I'm gonna feather a little bit more just because I don't like it looking so solid like that sorry about that my mouse is acting up Okay. All right, now that we got that, you can see we have what appears to be something charging up. Okay, so that leads to the actual laser beam. Now, After Effects CS5, I know, has a, an effect called beam built in, but you're not going to want to use that. Well, you can, but I recommend using something else. I recommend using Video Copilot's Lightsabers V2. We're not going to be building lightsabers, but um, you can download it anyways. Just click Project Files, and you're going to um, install the plugin into your After Effects folder. So I'm just going to type in, after you installed it and everything, Lightsabers V2. So new. <sighs> Damn it. Solid. We're going to apply Lightsaber V2 to the solid. Okay. So we got this little this little um beam up there. If you can see that. So we don't want a beam though. We want a